Hello, this is Wampire. Uh, for today's lesson, we're going to keep going with the roof block. All right, so last time I explained to you guys that with the roof block, I want to hit the hand. In a real life situation, I'm going for the hand. So boom, I'm going to hit him right on the arm. And there's my roof block right here. Boom, like so. I also explained that in a real life situation, this is hard to do. So I may end up hitting his weapon. If he's holding a weapon, we go weapon to weapon and then do the roof block that way. Okay. So even though I want the arm, I might end up going to the weapon. Okay. It's just a percentage issue. Okay. So then next, I'm going to do an empty hand. So same idea as I was doing the roof block like this. Notice the weapon is pointing downwards. Okay. I'm doing the same thing, but my arm is pointing downwards. So he's coming to strike me to boom. Okay, so same idea, like so. So you can see that because the arm is downwards like this, he's coming in here, and boom. Kind of has a Wing Chun type vibe. Okay, so that's the roof block, empty hand. Next is the same thing, it's coming, and I'm going to do this. So kind of similar, but rather than mostly just on one arm here and then go, going to here, I'm just bringing this arm a little bit closer. So now it's here. Okay. So that's the X block. Let's do an X block. And it's the same idea. Okay. X block right there. Now number three, strike is coming in once again. And there is a move called scissor, okay? The formal terminology is gunti, but to translate, it's supposed to mean scissor. So the scissor technique right here, because my arms are, it's like a scissor. I'm cutting, I'm cutting his arm, okay? So that's a horizontal scissor. I could do vertical scissor where, boom, I'm cutting this way, okay, this way. So in that sense, strike is coming in, and I'm going to go, boom, and here's my, here's my counter strike. So boom, right here, boom, like so. Okay, so once again, number one here, this is the umbrella. Number two, this is the X block. And then number three is, boom, is the vertical scissor motion. Okay, so... What I'm trying to say is that all three of those are related. You can connect them together and they're kind of interchangeable. So that is one of the, um, uh, how do you call it, characteristics of Filipino martial arts, where you're going to see that we have these individual techniques and then you're going to see that they can kind of be crossed over. And, and that happens quite a bit in this very flexible modular art. So anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for viewing and take care, folks.